Yeah. All right, Spencer, uh, catch us up to date, if you would. Here, you want to pass this down. The character sheets are being dispensed. When we last met, our heroes came to in the belly of a mythical creature known only as the Infinifish. Our heroes were discovered by a group of seven humans and a halfling that formed a tribe deep within the bowels of the great beast. Meeting with Aaliyah, the leader of the fish dwellers, the chieftain led the heroes to their village, a safe haven nestled between the arterial landscape of the fish's insides. It was there that Mulrain and Sharpie, in a moment of tension and feelings, <laughs> had a deep but important conversation about their complicated relationship. Afterwards, they headed to one of the villagers' stores and bought some ropes, potions, and syringes full of paralyzing agents. They didn't know how, but they knew they had to escape. Go! Spencer, everybody. So if you recall, you're in this village. It's been made out of things that the fish has eaten. And, uh, yeah, you were talking to the chieftain. Yeah. You got some stuff. All right. So we were talking about making this fish barf uh, barf us up, you know, like uh, Pinocchio style, right? Yeah, they're two episodes yeah. behind. We got swallowed by a big giant fish, and we were trying to make it barf. What about it? Teleportation what? Yeah, you have that cloak. It teleports. Jesus, yeah. I have a teleportation Ooh. cloak? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can you teleport out to the blowhole? Is it, is it, maybe it doesn't have a blowhole. Maybe it's not not, not, a, not a whale. How does that cloak work? You don't even know, man. Your dad showed it to you, and he didn't seem to have a mastery of it. All right. Just go for it anyways. Can I think about the top of this infinite fish? Okay, you can think about the top of it. That right. happens. Think about it. All right, you're thinking about it. I it's use the cloak. In your mind. I whip it around me like Alex Baldwin <laughs> in the shadow. It makes a weird noise. It, it, it looks like it's out of juice for the day. You're out of juice for the day. <laughs> kind of. Dungeon snap. If anyone wants to top me off. All right, so uh, nope. we have to we have to get, get this whale to uh, to expurge us somehow, right? Joking. We we we, we want to get coughed up out of here. Hey, give me some of those crystals. Remember when we got first on board this Finnefish and you had those your healing crystals shattered and it had little crystals that were absorbed in your body. And you got back up to forty hit points. Do you have any of those extra crystals left? I hand him my crystals. All right, you hand him your crystals. Can I rub them on the cloak? The rest of the cripple. <laughs> Is there a battery rub compartment? <laughs> rubbing the crystals on the cloak. They glow softly, but then grow inert. Grow inert. All right, you can have them back. They're dumb. <laughs> Several of the uh, crystals dissolve, healing you to full health. Oh, oops, sorry. I accidentally healed myself. <laughs> the, uh, the these people, their their dwellings are made out of wood. Yep. What if we ask them if we could set their homes on fire? <laughs> Go on, and and obviously take them with us, and we we maybe if we set their homes on fire, the fish would <laughs> spit us out or just burn up, and we'd all die. Um, well, do you want to consult, or do you just want to start setting fires? <laughs> no, no. Uh, may I may I uh, consult with the leader of the fish dwellers? I am the leader of the fish dwellers. Hey, <laughs> I I heard you talking about things. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I I greatly respect your architecture in your house and uh, uh, secondly can we set it on fire um we live here uh, is there any reason do you just like are you a pyromaniac or no 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 um i don't hate fire uh but i um i you know you you said that you've been here for a long time i don't know how passionate you are about leaving but we certainly are maybe uh we can work together Set your home on fire, and we can all leave. Maybe, maybe the mouth will just open. The fish will open its mouth. We can all leave. Also, you look great. Thanks, thanks. Well, you see, stories tell of my grandpappy. The first three ships that sailed through here, we did indeed light on fire, hoping that would work. But it seems the beasts' insides are quite resistant to heat. Oh, okay. Mm. Jeff, do you have a little notepad? Yeah. Do you keep little D and D notes? I sometimes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to take this shit seriously, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what is that word on your paper? What does that say? It's Leah, the name of the leader of the oh, fish people. Shit. <laughs> fish Head, I, I write down the names of the people that come up on stage so I can thank them later oh, on. Oh, jeez, you're very nice. That's very nice. Comp- That's very nice. I draw little pictures of people. <laughs> I, I, I've got my, my famous buttermilk biscuit recipe down in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so that was a good idea, Maureen. I I, I liked where you're going with that one, but uh, sounds like it sounds a like a no. It sounds like it's not a not there, a good idea. I'm you, glad I asked. If you want to damage various parts of the fish's insides, that might work. I I'll, say let's go down and uh, let's uh, shit. I mean, I don't know if killing the fish is a great idea, you know, or hurting it. It's like if this thing is like floating through the air, right? You know, and then you hurt it, like. Do, do we know where the fishes, uh, where the amphita fishes gag reflexes, where its uvula is? Could you I... don't, but you have a feeling it might be somewhere along the digestive tract. <laughs> we, Weird. I I, uh, I I lead us off uh, in the direction of the uh, the esophageal part of the fish. Aaliyah says you can go fish west to its primary digestive tract. You can go fish south, but no one ever goes fish south. Why Why doesn't? Because anyone... you get pooped. <laughs> Let's go get pooped. Well, don't. Let's go. Po- yes. Let's- why do we get pooped? Because everyone who ever gone that way is dead. Well, Ken- Kenny because they've never seen them again. Yeah, Kenny oh. tried it once. He never returned. Uh, he never. Well, uh, some say he escaped, but others say he perished, and others maintain that he never existed. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, either way. Hmm. So we can make him sneeze or gag. Or we can uh, punch a hole through them, or we can uh, go get go get pooped out the infinite fish. But then we're going to be floating out in the uh, the sky, right? Right. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. So do okay, but and we don't want that. So hypothetically, we want a ship to fly inside the fish, and then yeah. we get on the fish on the ship. Uh, you could. You also have a broken ship. You could repair it if you thought you wanted a ship. Can I use portable hole? Uh, you, to do what? To 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 fall through it. A po- it's it doesn't like put a hole in a wall it just makes a pit appear so like you get in the pit oh. and it wouldn't take you to the other side so it's of more it. like a, hi- a hiding spot yeah it's a hiding spot hmm are or, you able to pull those holes I'm just curious like when you go into them are you able to pull them down into the like pull it into itself yeah uh, like you'd probably turn inside out and explode or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm 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 feeling lucky today. I said we go try the the the, the, the poop shoot. Yeah. <laughs> you see a pers- purple pulsating sphincter to the south. <laughs> it seems tiny, but you might be able to squeeze through. Can, can you say that ten times fast? <laughs> no. Um, I, I'm right. a little. I'll go first. <laughs> Wait, wait, oh. stop. Yeah? I just want to Instagram this. Uh, no, no, I uh, I want to tie a rope around you. Okay. Oh, great idea. Yeah, thanks. She, uh, you, you, you bought rope, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I have rope. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll tie, tie let me, rope I'm tying around, rope yeah, around Quark's waist. waist. I'm tying that to my... Two tugs means uh, I'm in an infinite toilet uh, and I, I'm drowning. <laughs> right. Pull me back. One tug is uh, means... Uh, Good to go. G- c- c- follow me. Okay. Yeah, right. and if you start talking a lot of times, we'll start writing it down like it's a song. <laughs> like, like like Morse code? Yeah, yeah, but a song, but a beat to a song. Okay. Actually, we better eliminate one tug as an option, because one tug could be a chaotic thing generated yeah. by all Okay, so, so, so shave and a haircut, da, 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 that means... Uh, don't come in here. But don't, I, don't come. Yeah, don't, so don't come. You'll, you'll, but if I go, da, da, that means you can come in. <laughs> that means. So if you figure if you're yank, 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 yank. Don't come in. I don't think you. I, I, I don't want to hear yank, 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 yank. That Quirk, means it's good to go. Quirk, no, so you if said, you if you go through oh, the anus oh, oh. and there and it's it's imminent danger, you're gonna be like, all right. Yeah, because that's the system. Okay. That's the system. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, you think you, you'll have that presence so, of mind no oh, yeah, matter yeah. what happens? Look, fuck it. That's yeah, absolutely. Yank, 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 yank. Don't come. Don't come. But yeah. Come down. Come down. I am in the toilet. Calm down. down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. right. Okay. So uh, with the, with the, with the, I tie the rope uh, firmly around my uh, midsection and uh, and and squeeze uh, through the purple pulsating anus. <laughs> Muscular action sucks you in, and you find yourself in a narrow red passageway. <laughs> it opens up to an outcropping that to a, an outcropping that looks over a lake of acid. On the far wall, you can see a similar outcropping. Am I safe where I'm standing? You're safe where you're standing. Yank, 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 yank. So that means we don't go. No, no. Didn't you hear the last two yanks? <laughs> oh. I mean, that that means he's probably Don't perfectly come. safe, not standing over an outcropping of acid. <laughs> so we'll keep our end of the bargain and follow him. Okay. 
Sharpie, really quick before we go into this anus, um, I just had to tell you that I, you know, last night was pretty heavy, but I, I, I love you and I, I love you forever. I don't care what happens. I know. <laughs> I give her a, a passionate kiss, or at least one that it's uh, so that the. Uh, 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 it's taken so long to do that it's passionate. It's passionate. <laughs> to the to the fans. It's what part of yank 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 did you guys not All understand? All right, let's go. All right, okay, I'm next. I'm going. I'm going into the anus. I I proceed. All right. <laughs> On the far wall, you see a similar purple pulsating sphincter. A few giant wasps flit around the room in dizzy, circling loops. Wasps? Yeah, giant ones. All right. Well, the biological analog is breaking down for me. So there are two. There are two sphincters. Uh, there's two. Yeah. So we, it's, we've, we've entered through one, and there's another one along the other I passage. See. So like you know, it, like we could be in, in a stomach kind of chamber. But you, it's, yeah. it's acid, so I think I feel we're like probably the infinite fish being being an infinitely big almost uh, organism probably just has more like big lakes of acid that kind of break down things in different stages. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, we're, we're in the right. stomach right now. Yeah. But if you could fly above it, you wouldn't dissolve. Oh. Yep. I fly Hot above it. it. Well, <laughs> I can. use my teleportation. Oh, wait. You said it's out of juice. Yeah. But can't you, can't you fly, Dan? Didn't you have a fly thing? Well, I have a feather fall. If I start to fall, I could slowly lower myself into the acid. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, break my neck on impact or anything. I, I, I take one of Air, uh, Mulrain's arrows and tie the rope to it and say, shoot the arrow into the far wall and we'll climb across it, like, you know, rope bridge style. Oh, boy. I shoot an arrow. Okay. You shoot an arrow. It flies across the room, but much like the cord of your microphone, which just fell on the floor, the rope disengages itself. It uh, doesn't cross the chasm. I need to, chasm I need, I need to consult you about one of my spells. Yeah. Don't I have Tensor's Floating Disc? Tensor's Floating Disc, yes. Um, uh, is it, you know, does that have any range to it? Can anyone get on that and I can send them across? They can get on it, but I feel like there's a weight limit. Um, I think it's like 100 Excuse pounds. me? Well, Sharpie's pretty small, or Quark. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just, you could probably send Quark over. You're not so sure whether you but can I, get but you. I, you. You're putting me in a Frisbee and throwing me across the acid lake? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have like a thing called Tensor's Floating Disc. It's like a, a way to, it's like a floating uh, hover sled so I could put equipment on it. Okay. But Tensor, after I turn into a woman, I, I weigh like 50 pounds now, right? 50? I don't know. That's the standard weight like for a woman. Dead. Uh, <laughs> Ladies? I don't know. Um, okay. 100. Just 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reduced person. Yeah, yeah, reduce reduce one of us and send. Oh God, yeah, yeah, please yeah. don't reduce, reduce me. Rain and throw her across the acid. If I reduce if I reduce Mulrain, can will she will the weight limit of the uh, of her will she plus Quark be under the weight limit of Tensor's floating disc? I'm just gonna say yes. Okay, all right. I cast reduce person on Mulrain. <laughs> Typical. Then I <laughs> then I cast Tensor's floating disc. Okay. Put the two of them on the disc. <laughs> yep, yep. And oogie boogie. <laughs> all right. Your maneuver works. They're on the other side. All right. Oh. See you later. You know, they, they applauded for less in Brooklyn. You know? uh, can I? Can they I? Applauded like a three-point ray of frost. Can attack. we? Can we throw the, the disc back to him so he can get on it? Yeah. I I, I, I throw the disc back to uh, to Sharpie. There you go. And I scream out, "This is from both of us." <laughs> Well, I don't think I can. Can I get on my own floating disc? Uh, yeah, yeah. You sound unsure. I am kind of unsure. I'm just rolling with it. Ah, you're rolling with it. All right, that's I, what I, I do. get on my own floating disc. Woo! <laughs> Slowly, it hovers across. You've piqued the attention of the flying wasps. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Are you using the dice the guy gave you? Yeah, I am. And it's not boating well. <laughs> Thanks, Bland. <laughs> Two of the uh, wasps streak out of the air towards you, pointing their vicious stings. You manage to deflect one of the blows, but it strikes you right in the shoulder. 
you feel stinging pain as seven damage enters you. <laughs> seven <laughs> damage enters, <laughs> enters your body. Scorching ray! Scorching ray! <laughs> it misses. <laughs> It fire. flies into the wall. Fire some arrows. Uh, I. Uh, what should I fire them at? I uh, the wasp. Oh, the wasp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You, you, you just you, you just made out with this guy, and now you're just watching him getting his ass kicked. Right? <laughs> I'm swooning. I'm you're swooning. Sta- you're standing up here going. I'm swooning. I'm swooning. I'm swo- swooning. Uh, as a woman, I'm just thinking about babies and doilies. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I fired. Uh, okay, so it's just one wasp. Uh, I fire one. Arrow, like a regular arrow. A regular arrow, right, but cool. I really, I'm really focusing, Spencer. Yeah, you are. You hit it. Yeah. Right in the wing. The Yo. wing falls off of its body and careens into the lake of acid. All right. Cool. Your your ascent or movement continues. All right. Tensorized. You get to the far outcropping. Tensor's disc out. <laughs> The other wasp is droning lazily around. He knows better than to mess with y'all. Okay, cool. Let's, let's not fuck with that guy. No. All right. So, uh, what, what, what are we, what are we looking at now, Spencer? Purple sphincter. Purple sphincter. Um, I same system. Same, same system. Same system. Same system. Same Although, system. can I recommend? Can we talk about those uh, shoes and a haircut? Yeah. Like, like, like. <laughs> it just seems like, like. No, let's I know it's not system. System. Sorry. Okay, but it's okay. So if if something's going wrong. Then you say. That, 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 that. <coughs> okay, so that's bad. Think so that's it, bad. No, that's yeah, bad. right. If there's yeah, because no that's choice. what happened before. Yeah, and I'm it in a butthole. <laughs> come in. Is come it, in. If I, if I, 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 I'm in a butthole. In. Right. I'm in a butthole. If I don't, if I don't say okay. that, think of it this way. Okay. Did you? Did uh, you think think of it this way. I did. Okay. Uh, I'm in terrible danger. Just kidding. <laughs> So the the, the okay. two touch that makes sense negate. to me. That makes sense to me. Sure, no, yeah. Oh, guy, baby's so smart. Yeah. Baby system's so good. D- is there something on my face? No, I'm worried that there is mine. I don't. I've been conditioned. Before you got up here, there was hair hanging everywhere. Sorry. All right. And those so, hairs there. All right. I'm in terrible danger. Okay. I, t- I, t- I, I tie the rope around my waist and ease my way through the other sphincter. You climb into the sphincter and immediately feel embraced by powerful <laughs> muscular action. Story of Jeff's life. <laughs> yeah. True. Immediately, you feel the rope snap. Your side, uh, Sharpie and Mulrain, it goes oh, no. slack. Oh, no. You're being pushed through a fleshy opening with insane speed. <laughs> you feel like you're falling, then being pulled upwards and all around, and suddenly you're falling again. Oh, shit. So we're not feeling any signals. Is he fine? No, you feel it go slack. No, I know. I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, holy shit! What, Wait, what, is the rope? I pull on the rope. It comes out. It's broken. Yeah. Okay. I tie. Totes broke. I tie uh, the rope to another arrow. Okay. I fire the arrow right on the rim of the sphincter. All right, you miss. <laughs> you can okay. Uh, you could just stab it in if you'd like. Oh, okay. I stab right. it in. That's fair. Okay. Uh, also gross. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Grosser I, than shooting it. <laughs> okay, so if I'm able to stab, okay, I thought I had to like go across something. Uh, me- no, meanwhile, uh, little help! <laughs> oh, uh, my chicken noodle can't fall off. Okay, I tie I tie the rope to my foot. I give the I, I I tie the rope to my foot. I take out two arrows. I am holding them in my hand, and I say to Sharpie, "Hold on to the other side of the rope." Okay. We'll do the same system. I'm I'm going to find. Quirk. Okay, it's gonna snap. The rope's gonna snap. <laughs> no, but it won't because I have arrows with me. He didn't have any arrows. How's the arrow? How are the arrows? What do you mean? Because maybe maybe something stabbed the rope apart, and they didn't have a. Is this a bad idea? We can switch. <laughs> Just like they say, they're gonna get the same results here. We need to. Uh, um, uh, he he's gone into the intestinal tract. Uh, 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 we, we we need to just either follow him or uh, you know forget we ever knew him. Well then let's 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 follow him. Let's let's double bind our feet just to be. I have a safe. potion of enlarged person. I'm wondering if I drink it just as I go in. Right. Just give this thing the the biggest dude. He may it's enlarge ever. the tunnel, and if he's stuck, then he'll. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't. It just seems 
seems like a random thing to do, but... <laughs> Don't be shy. You're so smart. <laughs> I I charge headlong into the sphincter as I drink a potion of enlarged person. All right. Story dance life. You too get sucked into the sphincter. You uh you travel around in it. As you get larger and larger, it uh it doesn't seem to affect the speed of the esophageal ascendance. You too soon are falling. Uh-oh. You land on a fleshy outcropping on the side of a big red pit. Below you, you could see the ship you crashed here on. Am I there, too? You were there, too. What's up? You've just been sitting there for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what were you guys doing? Talking about uh, uh, how smart you were and just, uh, just fucking doing bullshit? Before you get judgmental, you might want to realize you're going to be around us for a while. We, we just came full circle. That's our ship down there. Oh, wait. So we just wasted a bunch of time? On the small ledge is a small campfire as well as a green tent. Which who's on this ledge? You guys are both on. Oh, this we're ledge. both on it. All right. On the we're other side of back. the sphincter. Yeah. Let's go up to the uh, green tent. All right. That I, happens. I knock on the flap. <laughs> it doesn't sound like much, but you hear the rustling and shaking of something exiting the tent. Oh, what's he look like? Okay. Out climbs a tall, thin elf with long blonde hair. He's wearing stained red leather clothes, and at his side is a magnificent lo- longsword with a pristine golden blade. <laughs> Haldo, I am Prince Valicent of the Valicent Fiefdom. Hello. <laughs> what brings you to my outcropping? <laughs> Oh, well, we just went through some, uh, uh, some butts. We were, tr- and, uh, we were trying to we, we, were, we were trying to get pooped out of a fish. Well, you were close. You got pooped somewhere. Just to uh, just to my little camp. Um, how's it going? Uh, do you do you want do you want a sandwich? What's it made of? Uh, fish innards. Mm. Listen, is there a way to get out of this fish? I mean, I know. I don't know much about navigation, although what I do know is sword mastery. I am a sword master, and I master all swords. Can't we just slice our way out of this thing? Can't we just start slicing and dicing and and punch a hole? The thing about such great beasts is, although you can do hefty damage to their insides, muscular action tends to close the wounds, sealing any pathway out. You'd have to do something pretty dangerous to some of the vital organs to knock this thing out of the air. Meanwhile, I jump into the sphincter to join them. Whoosh. Blarf. But if we knock this thing out of the air, don't we all die anyway? Maybe. I mean, that's all up to you. What if it, like, vomits you into, like, a cushion plane? A plane of eternal cushioning. So are we are we have to go get, like, to a heart or a lung or something like that and go, like, go stab it in the heart? I, I'm not much of an Infinifish uh, biologist by any means, but... You're more of a swordsman. Yeah. What, what, more, are you, what are you good at? I'm good at swords. Like, okay, okay, check this out. Um, shoot an arrow. All right, I shoot one arrow. Okay, you shoot it over the side of the pit. Uh, the side of the pit as it descends towards the earth, he she unsheathes his sword and in a single fluid motion strikes with his blade. Shing. Although he's a good thirty feet off, you could see the arrow break into half and fall into pieces. Like Robin Hood men in tights. Uh, does does he have like magic far sword powers? He's just he's just fast with knives. It's a Mel Brooks movie. It's not realistic. All right. So we, we need to take this guy on a journey up to the organs and use his sword to destroy the heart of this thing, probably, right? Yeah, he's got fire sword abilities. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't have a problem with you guys, uh, you know, escaping, but I, I kind of dig it. The Valicent Kingdom was pretty shitty. Wait, what are you talking about? You, you like it inside a fish? Yeah, it's like uh, there's sandwiches. <laughs> Well, would you That's listen? It. If you come with us, you'll have sandwiches that aren't made of fish innards. Mm, like, what else do you put in a sandwich? How, how long have you been here? Uh, I mean, we just ate fish sandwiches too. That was that's, that's typical. There's a whole world out there. You Maybe can do we anything can you show want. you some affection. No. Yeah, my girlfriend will fuck you. I guess is what she's saying. I don't know why uh. she's saying that. <laughs> oh, she'll fuck you. And I mean, fuck you. <laughs> You're going to have a pussy sandwich. Believe me, I have my share of portable holes. Right. Oh! Ew! I wish portable holes ne- had never existed in this universe. Uh, I can make mine pretty stationary. 
<laughs> well, I guess the conversation's moot because you said you'd like to help us, but you want to stay. But I, I just maybe you could just, uh, just show us swords. away and then go back. Is there anything that we could offer you that you would uh, that, 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 that you value that we might be able to bribe you with? Uh, do you uh, do you have any weapons or? I I, I have an uh, I have a couple swords. Yeah, I have an I have an emerald dagger. Yeah, I oh. have a a, a, a sense of adventure. Wait, didn't you say you'd be happy to help us? <laughs> I'd be happy to help you with any sword-related problems or, you know, sword-related expertise. I have a great flaming sword. It's pretty cool. Do you, just, do you, you know, don't have to give him anything. He's huh? going to help us anyway. Is he is? Yeah. He oh, likes, we he will. Likes help hey, come with us and we'll just talk swords. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, 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 you and I, we, we'll talk swords all day long. We'll, 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 we'll play a sword fight. Dave, you guys, have you heard the new, like, Broadsword Monthly? Hell, I, I, hell yeah. Oh, right. I did. I wrote a piece for it. I, I can't believe it gets delivered here of all places. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, well, you seem pretty cool. Let's talk. Let's go. Uh, all right. How do I get down? Uh, well, you got to get up. Feather fall? <laughs> all right. Can I cast so, that on other people? Sounds good. Yeah. On, on, yep. I can cast that on other people? Yeah. You can cast it on people. All right. Yeah. Like cast feather fall on everybody. On everybody. <laughs> That's going to take up most of your spells. You're going to need some rest after this, but you gently float to the pit. The bottom of it. You're back where you started. Back where we started. What a great adventure. Back where we started. Cliffhanger! Back where you started. Thank you, Aaron McGathy.